in praise of limits. A river without banks isn't a river but a marsh, a swamp encroaching, rotting the roots of the tree where songbirds once welcomed the dawn. A pasture without end, missing fences, is not a space of safety from storms of predators or weather, too much for any dog or shepherd to guard. A person without skin may be a ghost or pile of bones, unguarded from dirt and disease, unable to touch or be touched, to hold or be held without pain. Life without limit and unfettered festers into something that does more harm than good, takes more than can be given, becomes death's instrument. Freedom that cannot perceive that others must also be free is not freedom at all, but entitlement, greedy and overstuffed the libertine imposter of liberty. Our reading today is from an article called Can Limitations Make You More Creative? which is a transcription of a question and answer session with artist Phil Hansen. And in it, there are some quotes from TED Talks that uh, were on the subject. Ted's own Lisa Boo shared how she found her true calling when her dream of being an opera singer died. In a powerful moment of her talk, she said, coming true is not the only purpose of a dream. Its most important purpose is to get us in touch with where dreams come from, where passion comes from, where happiness comes from. Even a shattered dream can do that for you. Another of the speakers, Danny Hillis said, it's hard to get people to focus on plan B when plan A is working well. Now we are in a place where lots of plan A's are no longer working. Being forced to reevaluate is allowing us to see the connection between limitations and creativity. That's always been right in front of us. Within this process, we are bringing curiosity back. Curiosity about new possibilities that we hadn't explored when plan A was working so well. And we are discovering better alternatives. <laughs> 